gonna vacuum the truck out real quick. And I've never done it with Wrigley, so this is gonna be interesting. Are you gonna freak out if I vacuum the truck? You might have thought that was mean and cruel what I did to Wrigley, but that's his mechanism for, he thought it was a game. And he kept coming back like crazy, like, he wasn't, if he was scared, he would have literally jumped to the back of the truck and, like, dodged it. But he kept coming back because he wanted to attack it. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I have now had the truck for a little over seven years, and I've had a lot of different aftermarket parts installed on the truck. Knowing what I know now, we're going to talk about the six things that I would have done first to the truck before I did any modifications. The first thing I would do is the WeatherTech floor mats or some sort of rubberized floor mat. They're gonna just protect, they have that wide protection surface, so it's going to protect your carpet and it's gonna keep your carpet underneath looking fresh and new all the time. Factory, I know like Ford makes some factory ones, but they don't go as wide. And especially when you deal with winter, the snow, the sand that they lay down, the elements, it's just, you gotta have the wider pattern. That is why I highly recommend these or any sort of other rubberized floor mat. There's knockoffs of these that are basically the same thing. And I just like how this goes super wide and I never have to worry about my carpet getting disgusting. And these are so easy just to pressure wash out. Second mod I would do right away is the window tint. Now I have tint over my factory tint. So these windows are all darker than factory. So now if you guys look up here at the front, you got this gomer. I don't have window tint up here. I used to and I actually bought the truck. It was tinted and then I retinted over it so it was even darker. I got a couple window tent tickets, whatever. I don't care about paying those. But the last time I got pulled over, I made a video on this. The cop didn't give me a ticket. He gave me a warning and he told me that if I didn't pull the window tent that the DOT was going to start revoking registrations. And I was like, I'm like thinking to myself, okay, I've never even heard of this. I know a lot of people who have paid their tickets, never gotten their car repossessed or anything like that. Sure enough, I get a certified DOT letter in the mail that I have to remove my tent or they're gonna revoke my registration. Now, I think this guy was on a power trip. I, I have heard that the DOT told the guy to quit doing it. Basically, the reason why I don't have tent right now is because I wanted to let this cool off before I went and retinted them. So it's been a little bit and it's been on my mind to retint them because I don't care if people can see me, I don't care. The only thing I care about is it blocks Wrigley more when he's in the truck and it blocks the sun because it's been hot here in Iowa. But for the most part, I don't actually care. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm lying. I like the way it looks. Number three would be a tonneau cover. Now, I've only had two tonneau covers. This one is the Undercover Flex. It's the Trifold. There's a lot of other companies that make the similar design. I think aesthetic wise, it's perfect. When you open this up, it tri-folds open and it blocks, if you have it all the way open, it blocks your back window. So that's the only thing I dislike with it. Other than that, I used to have the fiberglass cap that came with the truck, it was paint matched. It didn't look bad, but it just, it, the fiberglass cap is not for me. If I had to do anything, load something, put anything in the back of the truck, I had to just pull the whole fiberglass cap off. I could do it by myself, but it was a pain. Wrigley, you ready to get breakfast? Okay, so don't eat that. Today is my cheat day. It's been over three months that I've been on the carnivore diet. What that entails, two pounds of red meat a day, five to seven eggs. Now that's not like the standard of what you're supposed to eat. That's just like what I eat to try to maintain my weight. Literally for three months, I didn't have a cheat meal. I literally ate two pounds of red meat a day. Sometimes I'll throw in some chicken, plain chicken wings. That's on there as well. But red beef is just healthier for you than chicken actually. So we went with bagel bites for breakfast from a local place here. These are money. Even Wrigley, I give Wrigley a little bite. He hardly ever gets sugar, but I give him a bite of these since it's not often. Yep. Bye.
Mod number four, you're gonna wanna update the lighting on your truck. I have the Morimoto XP headlights. They're around $1,400. They're pricey for these LEDs. What I would do instead, if you don't already have them, take the bulbs out of your factory housing and just update them to some LEDs. You cannot go wrong with visibility on the road, especially any time of night driving. I absolutely hate driving at night with shitty headlights. So the headlights I had before were absolutely fine. I had HID projectors in here. I would for sure invest in some LEDs. Around Iowa, there's deer. I have LEDs in the fog lights. I just did that just to kind of match. That's not really needed. I've got LEDs throughout the whole truck in the interior. It just helps brighten everything up. And who wants that dingy yellow factory color anyway? The last thing I would do is some sort of leveling kit with a wheel and tire combo. Now, the reason I say do this together, my truck, for instance, I have 33 by 12 and a half 22s and I get just a little rubbing right now, and that's at full clock. You're gonna wanna do them both at the same time just to get better fitment. If you're gonna go with the tire that's not gonna rub even on your factory suspension, you can get by for the time being. The leveling kit's just going to up the look of the truck anyway. A lot of people actually will just do a front spacer. My truck, however, has the Rough Country. It's like a kit, so you actually get a spacer for the front, which I believe is a two inch. You get a spacer for the rear, and then it comes with rough country shocks. The problem with those shocks was they blew out pretty damn fast. Right now, the way the truck sets, I think it's perfect. I think doing the spacer up front with the block in the back makes it set perfect. It doesn't have that like rake where it kind of sets up. I, to me, it's just about perfect. But if you do go the rough country deal, just know that them shocks might blow out. Maybe I just had a, you know, maybe I just had a bad pair. I don't know, but I ended up switching to the Bill Sign rear shocks. Was thinking about doing a Fox or Icon, but honestly, the only reason that I was gonna buy them was because cool factor, sticker, I don't know. The bill signs were the cheapest option. They ride smooth, they're fine. But if you're a name brand guy and you want Fox or Icon on your truck, buy them. I guess I could throw in one more thing and it would be this. That little stubby antenna. This one I bought off Amazon, it was like 20 bucks. The factory one sucks, they're stupid, they're long. This one I actually like, it's got a little carbon fiber piece and uh, I've lost like two antennas and I don't know if it's because of the automatic car wash that I go to all the time or if someone just walks by and steals it. I have yet to determine that. That's all I got for this video, guys. Those are the six things that I would do knowing what I know now, looking back with all the mods that I've done to the truck. If you guys have a different preference, drop it down in the comments. Let me know what your guys' six would be, but that's what mine are gonna be. Wrigley, you got anything else? Hey, there's a kitty. There's a kitty. He knows what a kitty is. He wants to attack one. All right, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.